You are so awesome. <laughs> the, if you're watching this, you're on our team mm -hmm. and we value you so much. Thanks, you've, guys. you've helped us so much. Either you've joined this, this month or this past month. And honestly, the dance hall is just blown up. There have been so many new people because of you. <laughs> and it's just been so much more fun. Like a party every time we have a planning meeting. I love it. It's so fun to have you on the team. And getting to know each of you more personally, like I dreamed about Danzy last night. It's just incredible <laughs> how much you feel a part of you guys being on the team. And the cool part is, is even though we can't have a physical meeting because you can't legally have 10 plus people together, which is just um, something else, uh, but we have technology and we can virtually meet together in this in this video, you and I. Oh, well, both, all, all of hug. us, right? Love you. Yeah, we all give you a hug. <laughs> um, but during, we want to we wanna tell you something very, very cool that we're going to mm, do. Release yeah. a new idea that Jessica had and she thinks that this is the new slice bread. Like, <laughs> we are going to be able to dance and connect with people and, and have, like, meet people and hang with our friends and go on dates and dance at the same time. Even though, even though if there's virus, no virus, like whether you have to stay home or, or you just aren't in town to go to the dance hall that week, this is a solution for all those problems if you just can't come physically dance at the dance hall. Right, because look at all of the fun things are being taken away, right? Our sports, now we can't even go to the movies. It just, it's crazy. So, um, we're like, I've been racking my brain ever since it started. Like, what could we do? Like, what if they actually stop us like they like, did? Like, literally, she's been pacing our house <laughs> back and forth. Now, our house isn't very big, so what she just paces like, back and forth. It's about the size of this rock. <laughs> the next epidemic is going to be depression because everybody's going to be sad. So what can we do to help out? And, and this is going to be so much easier because you're here to help make this change yep. happen. together in small ones and then if there's a bunch of us getting together in small groups and uniting together over social media we're we're banding we're giving people something cool to do when they're locked in their house yep. so he's really good at explaining the process of things but it's it's gonna be so fun it's called the challenge and so here's here's how it's gonna work this dance challenge each week on Thursday night will uh, will send out to all of, will release a video explaining the challenge. Now, you'll have Friday and Saturday to complete the challenge, mm -hmm. right? It'll be a simple challenge, like this week's challenge is do the princess dip on red rocks, okay? That's this week's challenge, for example. And then we'll, you would have Friday and Saturday, example, this Friday and this Saturday to complete it. You go out with your friends or you go out with a date or you go out with your family and you do the move and then you uh, you take the video or you actually take the picture in this case um, and then you add it to your story and tag us and that's how you submit your your entry so you can win this this competition this dance challenge okay is not that freaking awesome <laughs> so now we'll have tons of people submitting videos and you can see oh yeah I, I, I like that guy yeah I saw that he was doing the princess dip oh yeah I saw those guys I, when I was going out to do my video and I talked to them oh that's a cool place I want to meet up with those guys and it just connects everybody and you can start messaging other people oh I liked where you went can I go with you next time and you just connect dot 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 even though we can't be at the physical dance hall we can still connect and that's Oh crap. <laughs> oh my goodness, we are gonna continue this recording. Oh my gosh, the wind just blew us over. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let this the show is still going. What's going on here? Oh my gosh. Just keep explaining, Jessica. Okay, so wait till you can actually see me. Um, so oh my gosh, you gotta be careful of this wind. <laughs> it's craziness. Tie it down. Yeah, we gotta um, <laughs> anchor this thing now. 
Uh, what were we talking about? Okay, yeah. So you have until midnight on Saturday to make a video and post it to your story um, so that, and tag us so we can see it. And then we pick two winners, two people that we think did the best. And then we put it, we post them, well, we'll post everyone who makes a video in our story because that's safe. But we post them as the two competition winners and people vote which one they think is better and then that winner takes home a prize. Mm -hmm. So we're really, really excited about this. Um, and um, what we're thinking is, so just to give you an overview, so Thursday we'll release the video to just, just this week, it's gonna be just with our team nobody else yeah. which we have 40 plus people on our team and you can get connected with anybody you can get connected with your friends who aren't on the team doesn't matter but we're, we're telling you on our team to to do this challenge and if there's someone on the team you want to get a hold of that you don't know how talk to us we'll yeah connect yeah, yeah exactly mm -hmm. and then you'll have friday and saturday to do it all friday all saturday and then the competition the submissions will end at midnight on saturday mm -hmm. okay um and then on Monday at, I believe, 8 p.m. on Monday, we'll, we'll um, start the voting for between the two finalist yeah. videos. And then the winner will be announced at 10 p.m. on Tuesday, okay? Mm -hmm. And each week it will go on like this. And, and let's see how many people can jump on this boat. And, let's, and we're counting on you to start it off and, and set that example, because you guys are the cool kids. You guys like, are the ones who are People wanna follow you guys. Yeah. That's why you're on the team. Uh huh. Because you're the one that said pick me. Mm -hmm. And so, yep. you're cool. So we're gonna go through this video and explain it, um, explain how to do the challenge um, and what the challenge is for this week. So you can do it. We'll go through how the move works and um, and that that's the rest of this video. So this is kind of a little a little team meeting that we're having right now about what to do for this week's challenge. Okay. <laughs> Sick. So here's what it's going to be like every challenge video. The challenge this week, we already told you, is doing the prince, it's taking a picture of the princess dip on red rocks. That's it. A picture, princess dip, red rocks. Okay. And then this video is your key to unlock two things. First thing, how to actually do the princess dip and make it look good. And then the second thing is how to actually win this challenge and how to submit your your picture so that you can win the challenge. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first, the guy part with Princess Dip. Okay, so we're gonna go over guy part, girl part, um, so that you understand how to do this move. So Princess Dip, a lot of you know how to do this dip. Um, we're just gonna go over it really, really basically, right? So you have the cuddle bob, right? Everybody knows the cuddle bob. You're all on the team, you know the cuddle bob. So actually, out of the cuddle bob, you can spin your girl and put your hand on her back, and that's when you put your right leg behind her, and you dip her just like that. And we're on the edge of a cliff right now. It's very scary. So, and you can even do it while you're pregnant. This is a very simple dip. Um, biggest part for the guy is just right at the beginning, when you spin her, um, remember to put your right hand on her back and you're gonna go right around her back so your hand is still all the way around her. And you can't just, you can't just dip her just like this. You have to put your right leg behind her and her tailbone is going to be sitting on your thigh, okay? just like this. And is that comfortable for you? Mm -hmm. Very much so. He also really parallels that leg so I don't feel like I'm sliding off. Yeah. Which goes a long ways too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'd say that, that it's a very simple move, but it looks super cool. That's the guy part. Do okay. you wanna go over the girl part? I do, I do. Okay, so it's the safe dip extreme. Okay, so just like you spin into the safe dip, right? You can take lots of little steps. Be careful when you're on the rocks, right? That's why we say a picture, because it's kind of a precarious place, okay? So you get, he gives you two hand holds. One is this bicep right here, the other is around his neck and shoulders. When you go into the dip, you might need a slide to catch right onto that trap. Tricep? What is that? Uh, my trap sword? Trap, trap whistle, trap hold. Mm -hmm. Tries over here. I don't think it's trapezoid. I think that's a shape. <laughs> it's trap? The trap muscle, okay. No, these are my lap. 
lats. No, no these are my lats. Okay, I don't know what the they're traps. called. Okay, whatever. <laughs> this this nice muscle right here. <laughs> okay. So right now I start like this though because when he steps behind me, I also get out of the way a teeny bit, and then I make sure I feel it. It's right above, right above my booty. I'm not sitting on his leg. I'm like putting my back on his leg. So when he goes down, go ahead. Then I bring both my legs up, and when I hit this point, then I'll I'll straighten out more of my body too, which is really good. Um, and. As a girl, you've got tons to flare with, right? You can take a hand and put it here. You can um, look at the ground. You can look at your sweetie. I wouldn't recommend looking at your sweetie for long because, <laughs> yeah, the blood rushes to your head. But as a girl, it looks really good when you're looking up, right? And not completely upside down, but just so that it, it makes that whole line. And then make sure that you bend one knee and point the other and that those knees run into that back, run into his back right there. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that the girl does. Um, hopefully you could see me do it if I didn't remember to tell you to do it. Yeah, I feel like the most important part for the girl is just getting your legs up. So the most important part for the guy is getting your leg behind and making sure that her tailbone goes on your, your thigh. And then for the girl, don't put your legs up, put them down. Like, see how they're like out? You want your, her, her, as the girl, you want your legs all the way up. Then put them up. It feels so much All better. the way up against the guy's uh, back. He'll sit back into those legs. He'll sit back into it. And then when you finish, you can either just go out just like this and then go back into the coba. Or let's say that you just come out of it. You can take her back and spin her out just like that. Okay. Now we're on we're on a precarious like slanted rock right now, <laughs> so we're not gonna do that. But um, that's that's basically how you can do the move, and it's super cool to put in your dancing. It looks awesome. It's really any cool. guy any girl can do this move. Would you agree? Agree. And you can do it fast, but I wouldn't. Um, I would do the move and hold it for a sec because especially if you go to a place where they haven't, they don't know how to dance. Everyone wants to look at you. You're practically down to your girl on her head not it looks so sick mm -hmm. so hold it for a sec it's meant to be a look at me dip that's why we can take a picture with it mm -hmm. um, and then do you want to explain how you can get the best picture yes okay so there's because you're gonna be taking a picture of mm -hmm. this of this dip there's different angles red rocks um, the one I wouldn't recommend is booty shop let's just show them really quick so if both of us are facing this direction No one can really quite even tell what it is, and he was still facing you too much. Okay. I've seen it, it's okay. I've seen it where it's just two booties, right? Which maybe you can make that funny. So if that's what you want to do with your challenge, do it. It might be hilarious, and you would. Um, but I think another another really fun angle is facing front. Because this one, you can both smile at the camera, right? That's really cool. to the camera and this is cute to look this at the camera this direction she can look up he can look down at her that's really cute we can look at each other so looking at each other is a tricky one because you don't want to give her a dog chin so that'll be fun for you guys to figure out take a couple and see which one you like the best and a cool part is you can kind of do it at any time of day um, at night, it looks it looks pretty cool. You just gotta make sure like your your phone has good lighting or whatever, um, or that you can really see your shadow. That you can see the shadow. Um, and this is kind of like the classic dip. Um, Picture dip. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and so, yeah, just just have fun with it. I'd probably recommend the side angle as well. And feel free with the zoom, right? Sometimes it's super romantic to just get faces, right? So whatever, um, 
Whatever floats your boat, the best, funniest, coolest picture you can do. It's your challenge. Yeah. It's really, it's really open. So the only, the only uh, parameters on this is get a picture of the princess dip on red rocks. Okay. Other than that, you can have fun with it's all the other stuff. Okay. That's a part of the fun, funness. Okay. Um, then let's talk about uh, how you can actually win this challenge. So there are a couple steps on. It's really simple on how you can win this challenge. First thing is find your partner. So either go on um, and and text one of your friends, or find a friend group and all do it together, or just go on a date, or go with your family. Like there are a lot of different options available. And again, if you uh, are like, oh, I don't have any family and no friends and all that other stuff. <laughs> well, we are quarantined, so we can't even go find them. So. <laughs> um, let, let us know and we'll try to figure out other solutions of how we can find more people. That's one of the questions that we want to figure out how we can do. Right. How we can connect. And maybe there's somebody else who's like exactly looking for a partner too. And then the second thing is once you find a partner, then you got to go to the place. So there's, we're out here at Dixie, what's it called? Dixie Rock. The Dixie Rock. You can go on to Ivan's, you can go down by the Grand Canyon. There's a lot of different Snow places. Canyon. Snow Canyon, there's a lot of different places with red rocks. Maybe um, your backyard. <laughs> yeah, you probably have like a huge red rock. You maybe you live in Rockville. Okay. Um, so once you go to, the, once you found a partner, once you go to the place, then you're gonna actually do the dip. Now this video is to teach you how to do the dip. Now um, do the dip and take a picture of it. Okay, so you might need another person or just prop up your phone. We, we have a tripod right now and you saw it just fell over. Um, <laughs> so, but but we've, been using, we, we've been using just other props. We didn't have a tripod for a long time. We even went to Europe and we didn't have a tripod and we were filming videos in Europe. There are a lot of different ways like propping it up to, to take that good picture, okay? Then once you've taken the picture, last thing you do is you just add it to your Instagram story and tag us at Heart of Country Swing. I was gonna say dot com, but it's <laughs> at Heart of Country Swing, okay? That's all you do. You find a partner, go to Red Rocks, uh, take a picture of the move, and add it to your story and tag us, okay? That's, it's really simple, okay? And the most important thing right now is we're making it cool. So do it to win because it's ideas message us um, we're looking to brighten the world and you guys are we're our go-to people to help us and and the game plan for this week is um, this weekend we'll have all of you on the team do the challenge mm -hmm. next week we'll have everyone on the team and all of our members do the challenge mm -hmm. and then after that we'll just have everyone who is a member do the challenge and um, if anybody else wants to do it worldwide um, we're, we're saying that anybody who's a member um, can, can join the challenge, okay? So we just want to make it really easy and really fun. Have four solid date nights or solid friend um, like get-togethers every month. Um, and that's kind of the point of the challenge and the dance hall. It's kind of one, one purpose. Okay, we love you guys. Thanks, guys.